Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to display zeros as blanks. I'm going to show you with a formula, and I'm also going to show you using custom formatting. Let's start off with the formula. I've got six products, stock level at the beginning of the year, the amount of that product we've sold since that date, and I need to calculate current stock. That would be a simple calculation. I'd take my stock level at the beginning of the year and then subtract the amount sold. Copy this down and I end up with two zeros, which I want to show as blanks. So to do this with a formula, you can use an if function. So I would say equals if. And first of all, I have to provide a test. And I want to say, does this sum equal zero? That's my test comma, then I have a value of true. So if this is true, I want to return a blank cell. And I can do that by expressing an empty text string, two speech marks, nothing in between the speech marks, comma. If this isn't true, then I'd want to perform the calculation. C3 minus D3. Close the bracket, press enter. And then if I copy this down, you can see that the zeros are no longer displayed. The next method uses custom formatting. Just write in the normal formula to calculate the current stock. Copy it down. Then select the cells that you want to apply the custom formatting to. Control 1 on your keyboard will open up format cells. Then go down to custom. And in the type box, type the following. 0, semicolon, minus 0 semicolon, semicolon, at. Click on OK, and that will get rid of the zeros. Let me explain to you how that custom formatting works. Go back to Control-1. There are four parts to custom formatting. Each part is separated by a semicolon. To the left of the first semicolon, we have the format for positive values. Before the second semicolon, the format for negative values. Before the third semicolon, the format for zero values. And you can see that I actually have nothing between the second and the third semicolon. That's why we're getting a blank cell. After the last semicolon, you have the at symbol, and that's the format for text values. Now, if you did want to return a dash instead of a blank, you could just put a dash between those two semicolons. If I click on OK, we now get a dash. OK, let's go on and look at the final method. Again, I'm going to just perform the normal calculation. Now, this method will hide zeros across the sheet, not just in the cells you have selected. I go to File, and then Options, Advanced, and I scroll down. Eventually, you will see Display Options for this worksheet. Now, you select the sheet that you want this to apply to. Well, Sheet 1 is my current sheet. And down here it says show a zero in cells that have zero value. If I untick that, click on OK, it hides the zero values. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.